Hello and welcome back to the third clip on how to construct a building using Dialux Evo. After that we have created the exterior and interior walls. The last time we continue by inserting doors and windows today. The icon for this is the fourth from the top on the row on the left side. Now two actions are accessible. Positioning or drawing of a new aperture. Aperture is a more general expression for doors, windows and roof lights. They can be chosen from a catalogue of such items. At the beginning there are eight basic types of apertures. You will notice that this list will become bigger while working. I would like to place the doors first. The interior doors are all two meters high accidentally. This is just the height indicated in the properties field down here. Let's look at the floor plan. I'm zooming closer for better picking. Let's draw the first door by clicking on the draw new aperture icon and then on the plan on the right side. Clicking first point and the second point, both corners of the door. Now, assuming that all office doors have the same size, it is now sufficient to position without multiple redrawing. If one door is not positioned correctly, it can be moved with this symbol here at the top. You can see a green and a red arrow. When you get closer, they change their brightness, indicating that the movement is now limited to that horizontal or vertical direction. This is a very useful maneuver because the door should of course remain in the wall. The doors on the left and on the right need to be drawn anew as they have a different size. Have you seen how the dimension changes in this field here? Not? Then I'll do it again. I'm clicking Escape to finish this action. I'm clicking on the green arrow to undo the last action. Now I will redo it. These doors are 85 centimeters wide. This opening is one meter. So I have to draw it again. Draw new aperture. Have you noticed the writing down here at the CAD plan? This door is 2.25 meters high, so I have to change the properties. I do this before drawing the door. Draw. Yeah. Now I have all my doors inserted in this building. Let's have a look at the building again, now that we've inserted all doors. And let's have a look at the apertures. You see, the catalogue has grown. All doors that you have inserted are now listed in the catalogue and the small figure here indicates the quantity of each kind in the actual project. Let's return to the floor plan. Because in the way we have placed and configured the doors, we may also insert the windows. Let me have a look at the requested window, an arced window with a height of 1.25 meters. The sill should be at 1 meter and I return to the apertures catalogue. There is the arced window. As with the door height, I define the properties first, except for the width. Sill height at 1 meter, height at 1.25 meters and the rise we place at 0.5 meters. Let's draw the first window. Now this is the active aperture, the active window and we can position more of these. We can have a look again at the building. Fine. For the moment we'll skip details regarding the frame width. We also need square windows. Square windows with a mulligan. 
square window with mullion. We do property first and we leave the mullion in the middle. Sill height 1 meter, height 1.25 meters. Let's draw the new window. So this is our first window. These are obviously wider than the first ones. Now we'll be inserting the same one on the other side. Well, after inserting all the other windows, we'll have a look at the whole building. We've come that far. Enough for today. My name is Michael Immeke and I thank you for your attention and hope that you'll be joining us again when we return with a detailed explanation on the handling of building elements. Thank you for listening and watching.